Setting up all of the correct tax options can be quite frustrating. However, in today's tutorial, I will show you step by step how to actually set up all of the tax options inside Shopify, primarily for the US, so that you don't ever have to worry about this later on. So let's get started by heading over to the Shopify dashboard. Now, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to the best free trial deal down below. Now, once we are on the dashboard, this is really important, make sure to first of all head over to products. Now, Shopify does actually a lot of the taxes automatically, hence why it is actually super important that all of the products are going to have the correct product category. So this running sweater, this is from a clothing brand called Running, you can check them out. This is for example in the category sweaters in clothing. When we are going to look for this uh, sunglasses for example, let's see what it's going to say right here sunglasses and clothing accessories um, custom mark this is going to say uncategorized and maybe we can then add this to soap yeah soap dishes and holders for example make sure to actually go through and set up the product categories for all of the different products which you have this will make your overall life way easier because you won't have to worry about actually setting up this manually later on so either way, to now actually access the tax options, head over to the settings on the bottom left. Now it is really important that you are going to go through this step by step. First of all, head over to taxes and duties. Now right here you can then view your regional settings and you can actually also see some apps which you can install. Now the big upside of Shopify, as you can see right here, um, most subscription plans actually allow you to collect duties and import taxes and basically everything in one stop automatically so that you don't have to set this up manually. Now when actually talking about the pricing plans, let me actually quickly go over this. So obviously we do have basic, Shopify, advanced and plus. Beforehand I think this only was available in the Shopify advanced and plus plan but I'm pretty sure this is right now available for every plan out there so no matter which plan you're using this is going to work just fine. So we can then first of all collect duties and import taxes. This is the first step and obviously I'm not a professional on this but I will show you how to set this up like I would do it. Now, as for the duties and import taxes, make sure to just turn this on and this will basically run you through some questions. So with prepaid duties, the customer pays you at checkout. This is really nice so that if, if you are, for example, located in the US and if you are going to sell internationally, in some cases, you will have to, basically the customer will have to pay uh, duties when the package is going to arrive. And by basically enabling this right here, this will basically fasten up the whole ordering process for the customer. So I would actually recommend you to select that right here, depending on if your carrier accepts, uh, accepts this. Now, make sure to then actually also manage the countries and regions where you are going to collect duties in. In this case, I would recommend you to just select all of them, because really you do want to select all of them to not get into any trouble. Then click on next. As for the product, cut, uh, product information, right here, you will basically have to update the product information so that Shopify can more accurately estimated duties and import taxes. Uh, in this case, um, you will have to set up the H HS codes and just click on next and then click on edit store policies and notification. You will have to basically add new policies and fees onto this and basically um, first of all Shopify partners with Avalara um, provide this feature um, and the duty calculation fee is 0.5% which is quite worth it. So this is the first step if you are going to sell internationally. However, let's, look at, let's actually look at the domestic options inside the US. So let's open up the United States right here. Um, obviously, you can also select any other country. And this right here is going to show us the Shopify tax service. Now, this is a super nice feature. You are basically going to have a 0.35% transaction fee when you reach 100,000. So the first $100,000 of processing are completely free and you won't have to actually worry about that. Now you can basically also downgrade your service, but I wouldn't recommend you to do that. And you can actually also view all of the um, jurisdictional stuff inside right here. As for the regional settings and as for the sales tax, this is basically going to highly depend on where your business is located in. You will have to collect sales tax as far as I'm concerned in all of the states where you do either have a warehouse or where you do have a business collection essentially, a business location. Now, as for the sales tax rates, these are going to depend from state to state. For example, Texas is 8.2, uh, NC is 7% and so on. 
there are some states like Oregon and uh, basically there are some states which also have no sales tax but you can probably see your state right here right now and based on that you will have to pay this set amount per uh, for of sales tax now to actually add that make sure to select collect in new region and then add the region where you're located in i'm just going to select texas for this example and make sure to then also select and insert your sales tax id now, if you haven't received this yet, you can actually also enter it later, but I'm just going to select it. Now, we are now collecting our sales tax in 100% of the states where we are liable. We can then actually also edit the sales tax information once we've gotten our sales tax ID, and we can then actually also select collected tax report to get an overview of all of the collected tax reports which we have in the past. Now, essentially as for duties and import taxes, this is already something which we have set up beforehand, but right here we can then actually also deselect this um, if this is going to appear for international orders and so on. Now these tax rates and exemptions, this is actually the field where this is then automatically going to manage all of the tax rates and this is why I've before and actually told you to set up all of the product categories right away because in this, way, in this case as for these products which I have added there aren't going to be any product categories set so we will have to do this manually so I'm just going to add clothing right here I'm just going to repeat this process and based on this this is then basically going to more accurately track all of the taxes but i'm not going to continue that right now let's rather head back to taxes and duties and let's open up the us once again because yeah and then we can basically also add shipping overrides or product overrides now these overrides are just going to help you to more accurately track all of the different kind of tax rates and exemptions for the product and we can then actually add them inside right here one thing which is also important to notice is that right here you are going to see all of the different countries available and you can then actually also see if you are going to collect duties for these countries or if you are going to collect the uh, tax so if you are for example registered in canada you can go through the same exact process inside, inside right here. You will have to once again add sales tax, tax rates and so on. And this is basically going to be slightly different from country to country. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe if it was. And I will see you in the next one.